So QGIS can be really overwhelming and intimidating when you first open it up. That's why I wanted to put together this list of keyboard shortcuts that's really targeted to new users. Hopefully these will be helpful and get you up and running quickly. Now, there are a few very useful shortcut keys in particular that allow you to quickly change the view of the UI as well as the map extent. These first five on the list really fit into that category. For example, let's say I want to full screen my interface here. I could just go over here and hit full screen, but there's a faster way. If you hit the F11 key, it will full screen. And not only that, it will get rid of your little title of your project here, which just gives you more screen real estate. If you're working on a laptop like me, that's very important. Now, if you'd like to get rid of the UI elements entirely and just see the map full screen, you can hold the controller command key and hit shift tab. And there you go, now I have full screen map action. And you can toggle back out simply by hitting that keyboard shortcut. Again, there we go. As you see here, I'm working on these visuals in the different boroughs of London. So let's say I wanna quickly zoom this area full. Well, I can do that by holding control and then hitting shift F and that's gonna bring that full. Now let's say I have an individual feature here selected and I wanna zoom into this selection. All I have to do is hold Control or Command and hit J and that's gonna zoom that to full screen. Very, very helpful. Again, if you wanna zoom back out to full, Control Shift F. You can quickly and easily save out custom views using spatial bookmarks. So let me go down to good old Croydon right here. Let's say I wanna save out this particular view. To do that, I'm gonna hold Control or Command and hit B. That's gonna bring up the spatial bookmark editor. I can call it Croydon. And down here I can specify if I wanna save this in a project or user bookmark. Go ahead and save that. Now you can find all your spatial bookmarks over here in the browser panel, and you can navigate down and see these, or you can use another keyboard shortcut key, controller command with shift plus B, that's gonna open those up, and there we have Croydon. So now again, I can jump to full screen with controller command shift F, and then for Croydon, just double click, bang, we go back to Croydon. Work smart, not hard, kids. There are a lot of keyboard shortcuts that will open up panels as well. For example, let's say we wanna open up the Spatial Bookmark Manager panel to really customize all of our bookmarks. I can hold Control or Command and hit seven, and now you can see this new panel has been opened and I can customize these to my heart's content. Now, if you use the Control or Command modifier keys with the numbers one through nine or zero, they all open up different panels. So let me just close all these panels to quickly show you how this works. So I'm gonna hold Control or Command on a Mac and hit one, that's gonna open up layers, toggle it back off by simply clicking on it again. Now I'm gonna quickly run through all the numbers. Here's two, which is the browser panel, three, which is layer styling, four, advanced digitizing, five, undo, redo, six, statistics, seven, spatial bookmark manager, again, eight is the overview panel, nine is layer order, and last but not least, zero is a GPS information. So again, one of the key takeaways of this video, if you learned anything, learn that the control and command modifier keys are very powerful. They're your main modifier key for keyboard shortcuts. So I'll quickly toggle GPS information off and do control one and two to bring up browser and layer panels again. If you wanna check out your project properties, hold control or command and hit shift P. There are a handful of really good keyboard shortcuts relating to tools. So if you wanna open up the toolbox, hold Control or Command Alt T. You can quickly grab some of the measuring tools. If you wanna measure a line, do Control or Command Shift M. To measure area, do Control or Command Shift J. If you'd like to identify features, do Control or Command Shift I, and then select a feature. This is gonna bring up the Identify Results panel, which gives you detailed information on the different data fields. One keyboard shortcut that I found particularly helpful is how to remove a layer. So if I just go grab a layer over here and I hit the delete key, that doesn't work. If I hit backspace, that toggles editing mode, which is not what I want. So if I wanna remove this, I can go click on the remove button, but that's pretty annoying. And you can see right here in the tooltip, it actually gives us the keyboard shortcut, which is control D. So if I just do that really quick, that will get rid of that and I can remove it right here. Now, if you're a newbie to QGIS, you're gonna learn quite quickly that the attribute table is a very important part of this program. To launch the attribute table, simply grab a layer and then hit keyboard shortcut F6. And there we go, my attribute table. Okay, last but not least, let's say we've done all of our analysis, we finished our map and we wanna to start to work on the layout. We can hold the controller command key and hit P and that will allow us to create a new layout hit OK, and that's gonna open up the layout editor here, and now we're ready to rock and roll. 
Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you probably wanna go check out our other video, 11 Tips for QGIS Newbies. Or you can just go watch all of our QGIS content over on our playlist, QGIS Corner. I'll link to that in the description as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. See you next time.